Nordic states vow to protect Finland, Sweden during NATO application. Here's a summary of the article. Sweden's Social Democrat minority government on Monday took the formal decision to apply for NATO membership, following in the footsteps of its neighbor Finland in a move that will redraw the geopolitical map of Northern Europe. Norway, Denmark and Iceland strongly support Finland and Sweden joining NATO and will support the two countries by all means necessary, if they come under attack, Norwegian Prime Minister Jonas Garstor said in a statement. Denmark will assist Finland and Sweden if they will be victims of aggression on their territory before obtaining NATO membership, by all means, immediately initiating preparations in order to solidify these security assurances, Danish Prime Minister Met Frederiksen added. Canadian Foreign Minister Melanie Jolie said Canada was in favor of a quick accession to the NATO military alliance for Sweden and Finland. Sweden's government has formally decided to apply for NATO membership, Prime Minister Magdalena Andersson said on Monday, a day after Finland said it will also apply for membership in NATO. French President Emmanuel Macron stated he fully supports Sweden's decision to join the North Atlantic NATO military alliance, of which France is a member, the Elysee presidential office said on Monday. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which it calls a special operation, has highlighted Sweden and Finland's vulnerabilities despite their close cooperation with NATO in recent years. Moscow has no hostile intentions toward Finland and Sweden and does not see real reasons for those two countries to be joining the NATO alliance, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Alexander Grushko said in a statement. This post received a score of 35,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Of course, but don't tell Sweden we said so. Denmark. Norway. Happy birthday tomorrow. All the banter aside, the Nordic countries will always be stronger together as it should be. They will all come together to form a massive Viking super robot with two heads. Under winter skies we stand glorious and with Odin on our side we are victorious no retreat no remorse victory will be ours. Love a bit of Eamon Amarth. Raise your horns. Raise them up to the sky. We will drink to glory tonight. And last week Britain signed a defensive pact with Finland and Sweden, meaning if Russia now tries anything they will suddenly have to fight the UK, Ukraine, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Iceland, and Denmark all simultaneously. And USA. They have also guaranteed the safety during the application process. There are already UK tanks and American aircraft in the area. And they will stay there during the process. And the EU defense clause. Santa is getting in on it too? I suppose Lapland is up there too. I just imagine Santa Claus saying, naughty naughty, in a soft voice, taking out a javelin from his bag and firing at a tank. Santa rips off the mask and Odin gets back in the God of War game. A fellow Dresden Files reader? Smiley face. I hope the next book isn't too far away sad face. After the ending of the last one I'm desperate for the next one. Such a phenomenal series. As if Russia has enough military power reserves to start a war on a whole new front. The only concern at this point is the regime murder suiciding with the nuclear option. Basically, I am hoping for the decent Russian citizens to deal with that problem and the new Russian government that is not a terrorist regime to start making amends immediately. The Russian citizens are either brainwashed or too powerless I would think. It would need to be other powerful members of the regime deciding deposing him is in their best interests. Their brainwashing is as subtle as Orwell's 1984 and Soviet-style mass propaganda looked like. Even that worked with the cornerstone that individuals do not matter compared to national ideal. Without hope and with fear to loose it all, it's hard to even begin thinking about complaining. That kind of depressed people can be less productive and less healthy, but are more easily controlled than people that have hopes. States still have to look benevolent from time to time, but it is ceremonial and limited. And destroying hope, that is one of the main factors when it comes to Russian internal suppression and even their internet propaganda war in other languages. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.